and so we begin by setting our motivation <coughs> to do whatever we possibly can to attain the clearest state of enlightenment by perfecting all the trainings on the Bodhisattva yeah, path. And uh, knowing that in order to perfect those trainings, I need to have a perfect understanding of what they entail. And to uh, gain that understanding, I need to be able to rely on an unmistaken presentation. And so it is with this in mind that I am here this morning to listen to a teaching from the body of the teachings known as the Graduated Path to Enlightenment. <laughs> What <laughs> And likewise, we, as normal, we set up the merit field in the space in front of us with the central figure of Guru Maninja Bajadara, and then uh, surrounded by all the other members of the merit field, uh, beginning with the, the lineage of the consecrated practices headed by Bajadara, and then to the left and right, both the extensive practices lineage headed by Maitreya and the profound view lineage headed by uh, Manjushri. Below them, then, the three different schools of the Kadampa lineages, and below them, the Guluk uh, traditions with the, uh, with the Lama Tsongkhapa at the center. And then our own root guru, surrounded by all those teachers from whom we have received teachings. And uh, uh, circling, our, uh, sorry, nearby in that vicinity, also the four classes of the Tantric deities. And then the different uh, Buddhas, the, um, uh, the Bodhisattvas, the Great Bodhisattvas, the Shravakas and the hearers, the arhats, all the the uh, protectors and sorry, the the uh, dakas and dakinis and protectors and so on, and uh, just to uh, have in our mind that all the members of the inner field are present without exception. Because <laughs> And so then uh, we make the offerings of the mandala and the seven limb practice in order to uh, accumulate merit and to purify negativities to the merit field. And this is in particular to be able to uh, be able to avail of the, the blessings uh, in our continuum to be able to develop and cultivate all of the subject matter and realizations related to the graduated path teachings. And so after that we then dissolve the merit fields that we have created 
uh, with uh, the uh, all the different uh, uh, groupings of the uh, members of the merit field dissolving into those above them. So from the below, the Dharma protectors and the the Dakas, the Kinis, uh, dissolving into the different layers of the merit field above, uh, until all of those then that grouping all end up uh, dissolving into our own Guru. And then all the members of the Guluk tradition and the Kedanta lineage and the different uh, extensive practices and profound view lineages dissolve upwards again until we are left with the remaining figures of the Lord Maitreya and Lord Manjushri and the con consecrated practices lineage then dissolving into each one above them until we reach uh, Vajradharam. So now we have the five remaining main figures of the Emerald field being our own Guru, Lord Maitreya, Lord Manjushri uh, Vajradhara and of course the central figure of Guru Manindra Vajradhara. And thereafter, the further dissolution uh, takes place with the uh, Lord Machan and Lord Majestri moving in from the left and right, dissolving into the central figure, uh, then Vajradhara dissolving into the crown of the central figure, and then finally our own Guru uh, dissolving into that part of Guru Manindra Vajradhara. And then at this point, we offer the stake-like supplication, uh, which begins, uh, My most divine Guru, Lord, before Kai, as I make petition to you, Shakyamuni, Vajradhara, etc. Also, the antenna, Rangit, or Pema, the Nimet, the Sam of Dapa, and Nimet, and it because of the that of Sosing, so that Sosing comes in because of that, that Sosing, like Chidu, Chikundi, Novo, Lux, and Chavara, and the Chibola Chant on it. And then we establish a lotus sun and moon disc mandala seat on our own crown and uh, just focusing on the single remaining figure of the merit field, uh, uh, the embodiment of all refuges. And Guru Manindra Vajadara, we make uh, the invocation and the invitation. Uh, through reciting that invocation verse uh, three times, uh, with, with the uh, uh, having recited it uh, once, the figure begins the journey uh, towards our crown. The second arrives, with the third is established there uh, until we attain the state of enlightenment. And that verse is, "O glorious and precious Guru, come take your lotus and moon seat placed here on my crown. Keep me safe in your kindness. Bestow on me the attainments of your body, speech, and mind." What Mm the Nyamlenda, Dunque, se non si è 
la patuje ti bata ti bata ta ci ne va sho so ta sonde ci va ci va la male ko ne tu se nanga we se de ki ba to ma mi ti bata ta ki ba ta ene ta tende ki nyamne ci ba la patuje ti bata ti bata ka chan so so ta o te ko ba she reso ですね、ま、そう。だから、そうですね。これ。これだって、ディスアロタンだって、ビッグチェンエンマニティチバイトコントロールシャンバタヤ、ホットカルチメコントだけダルチキドア。カザンにバザラドハディオラティ。ラソ
it's perfectly fine to say, look, at, if you don't know, to say, sorry, I just don't know anything about that. And if you can, then make a, a recommendation. So uh, we uh, engage in the practice of generosity of, of the gift of Dharma. In this way, then there's the practice of the giving of the fearlessness. And this is sort of explanatory in many ways that we uh, protect those who are in danger, or protect those who have fear, say wild animals, or in injustice and so on, and even uh, small creatures from heat, from cold, from flooding, uh, from any danger of life or any danger of, energy, uh, of injury. And so this is the giving of the gift of fearlessness. <laughs> ちばたんせちばたんえぜちばたんをぼそそや、あの言うてんのもろ。とこパタさんや。あの問に言ったべすみ。だってですばいな、でちばいな。あの、ちが、かそで、三人が、たしに、が、たんげんそ、ちがる
imbuing any act of generosity we have uh, with a strict adherence to our ethical principles. Uh, the generosity of patience, again here, being willing to overcome uh, all obstacles to being able to uh, successfully practice uh, generosity. The generosity of effort uh, in really taking the light and, and really uh, having great enthusiasm for uh, completing an act of generosity. The generosity of meditation and generosity of wisdom. And that these combinations ensure that, that in the practice of generosity we are indeed uh, including elements of all the six perfections. What did what did the what did what did the what did what did the 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 what ちばちょぐちばたんげのみじべちょぐちぐたんのさんせげちばちんぐえなてでかんでちちぐよばいんばいんねんやわたかんじゃちぐよばいんなわたかんじゃちぐたぶしにぎちぃすみえたがにしん
这个是大的卡的这个的。所以说龙族卡的嘛，所以说绿的呀，所以说的卡的这个的，那龙族的印的也是不好的哇。我当时说过了，我当时讲，因为他他他原来搞了，所以说钱多吧，因为那，哎，
the objects uh, to whom we can practice generosity, sentient beings, as a very special object, a very uh, extraordinary object to be able to give to. Uh, because, you know, even if we uh, don't have uh, the, uh, the motivation uh, for the attainment of enlightenment and so on, that if, they, if we give to sentient beings, that is going to really increase our possibility of uh, being, you know, uh, well looked after without any needs in the future. And that whatever we give now is increased uh, hundreds of thousands of times into the future. And that, uh, that's because, you know, of the sentient beings uh, are that special object by which we can accumulate such great merit. Of course, if we view our motivation uh, with the uh, motivation to attain liberation, the initial state of enlightenment of source, then of course that's all the, the greater, all the more powerful uh, our act of generosity. And Uh, we can see really the uh, heights of uh, generosity uh, in, when it comes to uh, parents and their children. And this goes for both uh, human beings and in the animal realm. We can see the dedication, how much is dedicated, donated and given uh, to children by their parents. And this is again uh, the result of uh, previous uh, habituation in previous lives. It's not necessarily anything related to holy beings, but rather that which is uh, a naturally arising uh, habit of generosity. And it's, uh, here, it's uh, you know from the the times in which, for example, parents had children in previous lives, and the way they were so dedicated to ensuring their welfare by generosity. Then it, this is now seen again to be emulated uh, by the, uh, the role of parent with the, the generosity towards their children in this life. And so generosity is a, is a naturally uh, kind of a, a rising impulse can be. But so ตีคมชีจอยบาตาเรยอบายินะตังบตาชาสัมบตานะตาร้างละร้างเสร็จร้างกิเกวเจวะติอะนี่ตังนากเลสัมบุสาเวเจวะติเปจุตานะอะนี
And so normally it's the case that, uh, you know, if we have this notion that if I give this uh, to somebody else, uh, it's, it's going to be wasted on them. Uh, whether uh, if I use it for myself, I see it's a very profitable thing to do. So we have this mistaken uh, idea. Also how, you know, readily we can use our profits and our uh, possessions uh, uh, for ourselves whereas if we give them uh, if we're giving them to the poor or to somebody who is unknown to us it's like uh, you know the risk is that they will misuse it it'll be wasted uh, they'll abuse my generosity etc etc and we have these ideas it's uh, you know not very skillful not very wise to engage in, in generosity in in this way. But of course, if the very opposite is true, uh, that, you know, when we uh, you know, uh, are giving, are only using, uh, you know, our, our possessions, our, our goods, uh, our money just for ourselves, it's sort of like we are really, how do you say, it's, it's like we're using up uh, our own uh, virtues, karma. Uh, we're wasting, we're, we're, we're uh, yeah, we're kind of being very, very wasteful uh, with the, what we have accumulated in order to get these possessions in the first place. And we're not creating any new uh, uh, causes uh, to be able to perpetuate this, this standard of living that we are enjoying now. Uh, in other words, we are really, uh, uh, really destroying our own future by doing that. Whereas, if we are giving to others, if we are in the practice of generosity, where we're giving to others without these provisos, uh, without these conditions laid on them, but we're just giving cleanly to others, then uh, we are uh, not just in gaining the benefit of the practice of generosity, but we are also, uh, as it were, sowing the seeds for future uh, kind of possessions, for future wealth, uh, for ourselves. And that's a, it's a very, very important in that we uh, really change from this uh, pointless wasting of our own uh, benefits here by just <coughs> using them for ourselves in a selfish way, but rather see uh, the benefits of giving to others uh, in order to uh, really have uh, plenty in the future for ourselves, and that uh, we are creating new causes uh, for uh, having... Uh, 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 benefits in the future ourselves. This is, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, conjoined with a, a, a perfect motivation. Even. Just the fact of giving, parting with something to give to another is a, is a positive uh, a merit that will be laid down. And it just goes to show again how important uh, the other is, uh, how important others are in, 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 the, in the context of uh, they're being essential to our own happiness. What <laughs> And so therefore, the uh, a perfection, an act of the perfection of generosity, uh, that motivation is imbued with both the mind of enlightenment and the view of emptiness. And that uh, it's important to try to use that in every possible way. And to understand that we're just uh, holding on, grasping, clinging on to what we have to use it for ourselves. It's like uh, we are wasting uh, our merit as well as uh, the, the materials that we are using up. And that uh, we need to understand and that, you know, to be, understand uh, the, uh, the ramifications of generosity <coughs> is to be uh, really delighted to have the opportunity to give and to get a great deal of joy 
out of giving itself. Chunjulija, Tamja to a chapter, Sajena, Tonga, Chops, and that Tamja Nimachita, so to the Katia, the Tacho, Rota, Sajena, Tapa Tunita, Katia, and that the Chot, this one, Chot is what. Uh, again, and the Master Shanti Deva says from the Bodhisattva's way of life that you eventually have to let go of everything, so it is best to give it to sentient beings. And again from the Jataka tales, it says that by giving, one takes the essence of wealth. And this of course uh, means that, uh, you know, by being generous, by being uh, actually able to give it away to others, uh, we are really availing of the very essence of wealth. Because also, uh, we are able to, we are engaging in the perpetuation of that wealth, in fact, uh, by giving it away. And of course, this is not to uh, say that we don't need certain conditions and conducive conditions for life ourselves, of course. And we need to uh, ensure that we have the necessities. Uh, but I uh, saying that if we just keep it like that, then we are not taking the essence of what we have. The taking the essence of wealth or taking the essence of what we have is done through generosity by giving to others uh, because that's what ensures uh, that we will always have the necessities. Mm. There's also a quote here from uh, the great uh, Lama uh, George and Lama Atisha, Pandit Atisha, uh, where he says that uh, future lives are longer than this one. So make provision uh, by storing away wealth. And of course, uh, what he means is that in the course of your path towards liberation and towards this state of enlightenment, uh, you will have many more lifetimes in cyclic existence. So future lives are uh, much longer, are going to be you know, longer than this one. And so what you need is the necessary wealth of merit to be able to continue with your practice towards those goals of liberation and the state of enlightenment. And so he describes this as having like a treasury that you can draw on uh, by, uh, to maintain the necessary conditions for practice in the future. And therefore that is uh, ensured by practicing generosity now. ダドジャクシヨタンティングリワスダカンジャチメグラペントヤギタトゥンゲタウテヨベスティングリワスダカディカスナチバタンウエテウチタチマラキジュヨバトゥンゲツァンエチヨベスメナトゥポグトダス
uh, he's uh, talking to uh, the people of uh, Dingri, uh, which is a place in Tibet. Most of your friends have gone to the next life. O oh, people of Dingri, will you have friends' possessions for the next life? So he's saying, most of the people you knew, your acquaintances, friends, and so on, have already passed away into the next life. What about you now? Are you sure that you will have you know, the friends and possessions for your next life? Have you made provision uh, for that by practicing the generosity now? ปาร์เซลจินเคดเรจอร์วะตาซูซูเป็นนิงุคลาซายะตาจิยอร์วะตาเคดเรจอร์วะปาร์เซลจินวะจินตาแต่เคดเมนะตกตกบาลาเกร
in all circumstances. You know, if anybody even comes to our, our house as a, as a guest or anywhere, anywhere else that we offer them tea, we offer them food or anything, but we see it as a great opportunity here. And that, you know, here through uh, our karmic connection, I find that there, this is the scenario. Uh, these are the kind mother sentient beings here in front of me. I want to do my best to give the, do, the, do the perfect act of generosity towards them <clears throat> and to lay down the causes to attain the state of enlightenment. In this regard to our you know, relatives, our friends and so on, and especially you know, at times where you know, uh, it's, it's tradition of generosity, like Christmas or birthdays and so on, and to, for our sake, see this as uh, another opportunity for me to perfect my generosity. And that uh, I, I have this opportunity uh, due to the karmic connection that we have, and I do my best to actually get, do the most refined, perfect act, act of generosity in order to lay down the causes to obtain state of enlightenment for the benefit of ที่ตัวละคาริเจ้าคนในกางเกงยอมมาเด้ที่ตัวละคาริเพิ่มมาทุกคนในกางเกงยอมมาตาซึมเจสติเกชมุตเซบายินาอันนี้เกชมุตเ
has absolutely no problem whatsoever. It's actually a wonderful thing for me to be able to do and to uh, be able to uh, not only benefit sentient beings in this way, but also knowing implicitly that I'm creating the causes to attain the enlightenment. And it's uh, very important that we get into the habit of taking every opportunity uh, I, I, I am able to take by seeing that there's no greater benefit to others or myself by, uh, uh, than by taking these opportunities. And so here it's uh, important that we see it like this, and that uh, we always have sentient beings around us. You know, we are talking about the benefit of kind mother sentient beings constantly. Uh, why is it then that we don't uh, make these uh, connections? Uh, why isn't it that we don't uh, practice perfect uh, the act of generosity uh, in, in the context of uh, all these sentient beings, that we have the opportunity to help uh, so much? And so we have to move away from this idea of you know, taking uh, our practice for granted, having no feeling uh, for the sentient beings, and that uh, we, we, we need to kind of really change that way of, uh, a really more intensify really, uh, the uh, notion of the kind mother sentient beings, and what, that, uh, uh, what are the implications of that for my practice. ตักชุดตาราบเดอันจางจุกเซมกิเซเบตุเลเจตาจางจุกเซมกิเซเบตุเดเดกโลกตังกมันตุนะเซมกิเนวะตังกมันตุนะดิงอันกะซะคอวา
Tengi tiki da pasho. Kiawa chima pejele tiki yonga yeke. Ani gude gamu tu. Ta tiki mwato. Di mongpa di pa dene. Mongpa di sewa chene. Ani ko manowa. Ani nolke nipu liyantu wa shkogu tuwa. What is it? And so then what are the, the main drawbacks to our being able to perfect our generosity? Uh, one of the biggest faults is, as we have been describing, is the inability for us to hold sentient beings as so important. Uh, this is the, the main fault. And the second is that we have a lack of conviction in the law of cause and effect itself. And this means that we are, in a way, uh, ignorant and, and, and blinded to the results of generosity. What are the results of generosity? And this not notion that, you know, if I use what I have for myself, there's some sort of gain or profit in that. However, if I give it to somebody else, oh, that would be some sort of lessening uh, of that object. It would be some sort of loss uh, involved in there. And these sorts of, uh, this mis, this incorrect thinking is something that we have to really eradicate. This ignorance, we, this, this darkness of thinking, we need to overcome. And, and indeed, we must understand what it means to take the essence of wealth. And that, you know, that generosity, that attitude towards sentient beings, we must uh, uh, really uh, refine and, and improve. Dona Massinger, Tamjaka, New and New Ayanta was a Sunday of Kumara, but she made a top of jar. And teach at Lu Longju, Jetajeva, Tamjata, and then Cassette de Valla, Set, Good de Valla, Good, Comte de Valla, Tua, and then Nemel de Valla, and Takasa, Nemelta, Shubat de Vata, and then sing the Saba Sermu, Yishing Novus, Tova Namla, Cheta Dova, Teta, Ter, Yigi, Trina, Pomba, Neva Tango, Chavos, Teta, Cheneva Lama, Ching Lato, she has so at the because <laughs> Uh, in order to, uh, for mo all mother sentient beings to uh, reach the state as quickly as possible of a perfect and complete enlightenment. And that uh, here, in order to do that, uh, I want to be able to, to give, to pass away, even in the case of being uh, emanating this as a mental offering, you know, all of my body, possessions, roots of virtue, all together, uh, to be able to give whatever is necessary, uh, whatever is needed uh, by uh, other sentient beings. So that if they desire food, uh, may I give the gift of food. If they desire clothing, uh, I give uh, the gift of clothing. If they are thirsty, may I give the gift of drink. If they need a place to stay, a bed, may I give them a place to stay. A boat, may I give them a boat. Gold, silver, may I give them whatever they need. If they need a wish-fulfilling gem, May I be able to do this, even if it's only in the case of being um, emanating this uh, is a, as a mental offering. And then, uh, oh Guru Deity, please bless me to be able to make this so. And then we invoke the descending nectar light meditation again with the uh, lights coming down, the, the purifying white colored lights, eradicating all obscurations and negativities that we have accumulated since beginning this time, and in particular, uh, those particular obstacles and obscurations to my being able to really uh, assimilate the pure attitude of generosity by holding all sentient beings to be so important and perfect uh, that practice of generosity in, in, in my mind stream. Chibatao 
Ante Lanka Taya, Namcha Taya, Chiam Maru Maru Kota Kotama, Tobek Dila, Anukasa, the Gande, the Tuga, the Shidu on Jessica today. And it rang it, Longjo Karikona rang it to in a long chat to your. And it shanked to the Longjo, that you can then take a jibe in Namne Chene. You won't take your jibe down there, that you cooperate. Cooperate, you know, and not a touch you get jibe Namne, what did I get? Chiantu, Rangit <coughs> So it's something now here in terms of uh, our being able to uh, engage in uh, perfect, perfect generosity. Of course, it requires deep uh, habituation, uh, and this is the, the key element here uh, in, the, in the course of uh, engaging in the descending nectar light and meditation. Also, that you know we're eradicating all obstacles to our being able to perfect uh, generosity, and uh, we need to. Uh, see that that is happening, that we see ourselves giving uh, to those who are uh, who are in need, and indeed the giving whatever is needed to all sentient beings, and, and really perfecting that in our own uh, imagination, in our own minds, and, uh, and repeating that again and again and again and again, so that it's more likely that we will really uh, manifest that for real, that action, those behaviors for real, uh, outside of our meditation again. So it needs to be uh, repeated again and again and again and again and again. And also that, you know, in to ensure that we indeed, even in the course of uh, re being reborn in psychic existence, that we have all of the necessary facilities uh, to continue with our spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. And that uh, this is clear, you know, the results of generosity are clear within psychic existence when we look at the, uh, the various levels of for example, the desire realm, celestial beings. Well, in those, uh, in uh, the the samsaric uh, places like the, the, the desire realm, Tishita, heaven, and the other places where you have uh, the capacity, the beings there have the capacity to make use of whatever uh, they emanate. They can emanate whatever they need, in other words, and be, be, make use of it for, for themselves. And even uh, they can make use of the objects of others uh, uh, spontaneously uh, in, in whatever they, whenever they need it. Uh, these are the results of uh, the practice of generosity uh, for them. And uh, this perfecting uh, this uh, mind of giving. And so, and this is even in psychic existence. So we understand that uh, when we have, we imbue our motivation, our generosity, sorry, our, our generous actions with a motivation of the mind of enlightenment and wisdom and so on, that we are creating causes to attain the state of enlightenment itself. And that's what the result uh, will be. And so you can see again the, these, uh, as it were, more magical uh, uh, results are like a side effect uh, to uh, these uh, the, 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 the purity of our body cheating motivation. So, in short, we give uh, whatever we can, whatever we have to give, and then what we don't have, we generate into our minds mindset and give as a mental emanation, mental offerings, and to make that as real and as common and as habituated as possible, in order to perfect the mind of giving. And this is important, that the, the perfection of generosity is not the eradication of poverty. It is the, the, the perfection of that attitude of generosity, the mind of giving, in our own continuum.
这个是这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这个这
engaged in by the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and how they are uh, doing uh, acts of generosity now at this point effortlessly and spontaneously uh, giving the Dharma and so on, the, the Shravakas, the Pratika Buddhas, all those who are engaging in really profound acts of, of generosity to rejoice in that, uh, even amongst our acquaintances, whether they are engaged in a spiritual tradition or not, uh, that uh, even if, and they are well rich or uh, well well off uh, nowadays, so rejoice in the acts of generosity they have engaged in in previous lives that have led uh, to this fortunate situation for them, and that uh, the acts that they are of generosity that they are engaging in now, um, uh, we rejoice in as well, and it's a uh, very important. This gives this culture of uh, appreciation for the generosity. It, to develop that in our minds is, is very important. And it's uh, um, saying here that uh, uh, also the practice of generosity comes from uh, the, the cultivation of the attitude of giving. And uh, again, uh, Lama Tsongkhapa, the Jay Rinpoche, clarifies this in the, the, the Lama Rinpoche, uh, the great treatise on the path to enlightenment, by saying, thus the practice of the perfection of generosity entails generating in various ways <coughs> the intention to give and steadily increasing this attitude, even though you may not directly give something to others. 我的他的本家就我做本來我做用到可能就本來設置預計了三點過嘛都其實沒了到我其實沒了的金巴我是金巴今天給查證同你整個麻煩了可能寫了然後同你想馬上我說需要了但不但我做大大前面呢我做他們
And so it's in our mental capacity to uh, live up to that pledge that we perfect the uh, attitude of generosity, the perfection of generosity, because uh, even having this in our mind is the generation of that mental attitude of giving, the mind of generosity. And so here it's uh, doing so for all sentient beings. So it's not then necessarily required to directly uh, give to all sentient beings, but to develop this as a mental attitude. It's the same way that, you know, where we have, you know, uh, parents spontaneously give to their children. Why? Because they have this attitude of generosity spurring them to spontaneously do so. And that here, uh, from our uh, attitude, we have this attitude that uh, we have this uh, spontaneous uh, development or cultivation of the mind of generosity uh, to be able to pass that on to all sentient beings, to give to all sentient beings. お、で、と、たかじじ、そうそうで、とえ、サバ言うな。とえ、サバで、チェロが言わないな。あれ、タンとくいち。とえ、サバチェロがめな、言えねえタンまとがちょっとは。言えねえタンまた。だからそう、
and the cousin Dilla, Zawako, and the Tati, the new Uber child, the Lane never served to win by Inza, and Lane never served to with new to Toba Shows, and the Lane never served to book so ten Kakaso to some such. And it and a social with that, you get the carina, till cheaper than any negative between your carriage or a dead Jones or untarred and taking a church between your two souls as a water, and it don't let me better than a young Guruva. So we can we can uh, combine this with the taking and giving uh, on the breath meditation as well. Uh, this can be incorporated into the giving of love, giving of uh, loving kindness, and uh, this means that we're taking on uh, the the poverty or the, uh, the 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 difficulties that other sentient beings are experiencing uh, in the form of their negative karmas that they have accumulated in the inhalation or the in breath. And then we're sending out our own roots of virtue uh, to rectify that situation for all sentient beings, that they may be able to gain whatever they need and uh, whatever you know, whatever they need, and that uh, in this way, uh, developing our own sense of closeness through loving con- loving kindness in that meditation. The city ที่เราทับชีตเอาแต่ลับใจใจแต่ยองชกุรวะสมรตันตันเรียนจีตันเรียนเจรัญทับชีตินี้เชียมันด้วยทับชีตินี้เชียมันด้วยสาจะเออเ
And so, you know, when we take, talk about, you know, big countries with massive populations like India and China, uh, where uh, people in a desperate situation are so prevalent and indeed it's very difficult for uh, any governments to do anything about it. Government Here, also, it, public, also public, yeah. Also the public mm -hmm. as well. But in, uh, in Australia, where, you know, we have a first world country with a strong economy, you know, it, it's, uh, it's really it, it unfortunate that so little is done for uh, the, those who are uh, falling through the cracks and out of the system in this way. And so it's kind of imperative that we kind of step in, in a way, uh, to show that that's, uh, something can be done in this case, in these cases. <coughs> So, so let's leave it for today. That 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 and so, again, employing the descending nectar light uh, meditations here, uh, we gain uh, the light descending from the uh, Guru Devi, Lama, uh, Guru Maninja Bhattadara on our crown, uh, the white light again may purify all the uh, negativities and indeed uh, the problems, particularly. Uh, and for, for all these people who are bereft or destitute and so on, that they may be eradicated, and in that, uh, in, 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 in doing so, may you know, gain the blessing to be able to perfect the, the generosity, the perfection of generosity, uh, to be able to be most effective myself in being able to eradicate the problems like this. Now we, uh, we recite the uh, invocation prayer uh, uh, thrice uh, to invite the uh, Guru Maninja Bajadara on our crown down to the prepared uh, seat of the Lotus Sun and Moon Mandala at our heart. O glorious and precious Guru, Guru, come take your lotus and moon seat placed there at my heart. Keep me safe in your kindness, bestow on me the attainments of your body, speech, and mind. And so the, the, the figure on our crown starts the journey through our uh, crown into the central channel. And with the, uh, at the end of the second recitation of that prayer comes to the seat that we have prepared. And at the end of the third recitation, uh, is now we see we are aware of their remaining steadfast there until we attain the state of enlightenment, and that's something that brings great assurance to us, confidence, and we rejoice in it. And what I need in the and the because of the the because of the and the and because of the temperature うん、あ、そう我在这里让你去问呢,看这个把我在这里的,那他们的问题把这里问,那他们的问题把这里问,那他们的问题把这里问,那他们的问题把这里问,那他们的问题把这里问,那他们的问题把这里问,那他们的问题把这里问,那他
So now the uh, eight petals of the upturned lotus uh, fold over to enfold uh, the figure of the Buddha at, at our heart center. And this is sealed at the top uh, with the five-pronged white badger. And then it is encircled by the mantra of the, the name mantra of Shakyamuni Buddha, uh, moving in a clockwise direction. Uh, the mantra of uh, wisdom and manjushri, Amarapatsana, D, 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 in a anti clockwise direction. And the mantra of dependent arising, uh, encircling in a clockwise direction. And when this is completed, uh, we visualize that from within, countless rays of light emanate out through the, uh, the petals enfolding and they uh, permeate through every cell of our bodies from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. And they indeed uh, eradicate all the obstacles that we, uh, our body, speech and mind, uh, that we are obscuring or are creating obstacles to our being able to fully commit to spiritual practice. And they also, uh, they also balance the uh, four elements uh, within the body and indeed uh, make pliant uh, the winds, uh, drops and channels uh, within the body as well. And most of all, they eradicate the main problem we have uh, of ordinary appearance and uh, we are able to facilitate that ability to see pure appearance. Yeah. And indeed, at this point we see uh, that our uh, bodies are you know, now you know, indivisible from the uh, body, speech, and mind, uh, indivisible from the body, speech, and mind of the and then through the combination of uh, my own more subtle wind acting as the substantial cause with the body of the Buddha acting as the cooperative conditions, my own body is transformed into the enlightened body of the Buddha. And then through the combination of my own most subtle mind acting as the substantial cause, and with the mind of the Buddha acting as the cooperative conditions, then my own mind is now transformed into the enlightened body of the Buddha. And therefore I see myself again as having a developed fully enlightened body and mind, and uh, my body is indivisible from the mind and body of the Buddha. Then through the, uh, the purification of all faults of place, uh, my own place that I am in is transformed into the enlightened abode of the Buddha. Likewise, uh, rejoice in all of this, uh, now becoming indivisible from an enlightened being and all the qualities of enlightenment. This brings forth a sense of bliss which uh, invokes the uh, emptiness and I abide in the wisdom of knowledge and bliss and blindness. And then seeing uh, myself as a fully enlightened being, I emanate countless rays of light from my own heart center, entering into all the realms of all sentient beings and uh, automatically uh, causing them to arise as fully enlightened beings. And then all the, the places that they reside in are transformed into light, which uh, transforms into uh, enlightened realms of existence also. Uh, today, uh, right now, is the, the, the moment in which I have led all sentient beings uh, to the state of enlightenment uh, and fulfill that goal. Uh, how wonderful that is, I rejoice. And from this uh, rejoicing comes uh, again this bliss, uh, bliss with avoidness, 
and I abide in the wisdom of non-dual wisdom points. As a reality, it is your head chetto. And it and your head chetto, taka jetty, your head chetto, taka jet rangi, take a ke, ka, na, chi, and it give to me that condition by that, can condition by in a young to condition by in a tata tamja, what the days you make it, and that because of you done, and it can't do a show, watch it. And that, of course, we are operating at the realm of our imagination now when we are visualizing all of this uh, but we make the uh, powerful uh, dedication that it will quickly quickly uh, become a reality and that's a uh, you know all of what I experience of the birth of the old age sickness death and whatever other uh, problems uh, may be uh, when I be able to transform all of them as causes to be able to make this manifest to make this happen and that uh, whatever occurs for me in in life, uh, you know, whether I get a, a job, or get work, or lose a job, or lose work. Or, uh, whether I am well or whether I am unwell, whether I am happy or unhappy, whatever is occurring for me, may I have the strength of mind to be able to use this to create uh, the causes, to make what I am imagining now, uh, to make that a reality as quickly as quickly as possible. <clears throat> and so if we can, you know, transform all of our experience in that way as to causes and conditions to bring about this re reality, uh, how uh, marvelous would that be? How wonderful uh, would that be? And how, you know, isn't that really, in, you know, a meaningful life? <laughs> and indeed, how fortunate. Uh, we would feel to be in that situation, to be the beholders of that mindset. You know, we would see our lives as being incredibly blessed. So we do our Lamrim prayer on page 29. From my two connections, that I have amassed from working with effort at this practice for a great length of time. May I become chiefly in the world for all those whose minds with the minds is blinded by events. Even if I do not reach this state, may I be held in your loving compassion for all eyes in my history. May I find the best to complete very many parts of the teachings. May I feel all the Buddhas by my practice. Using skillful means strong by the strong force of compassion. May I clear the darkness from the minds of all beings with the points of the paths I have to send them. May I recall Buddha's teachings for a very long time. With my heart going out with great compassion in whatever direction the most precious teachings have not yet spread, or once spread have declined, may I reveal the treasure of happiness and aid. May the minds of those who wish for liberation be granted bounteous peace, and may the Buddha's deeds be nourished for a long time, by even this great path to enlightenment completed, due to the wondrous virtuous conduct of the Buddhas and their children. May all human and non-human beings who eliminate adversity and create conducive conditions for practicing the excellent paths never be parted in any of their lives from the purest path praised by the Buddhas. Whenever anyone makes acceptable acts in accordance with the tenfold Mahayana virtuous practices, may they always be assisted by the mighty ones, and may oceans of prosperity spread everywhere. <laughs> Namaki, <laughs> you 
Thank you.